Slayer. Hey guys, this is James Clem, or women. Uh, for some reason, my fucking video is lagging to hell right now while I'm commentating over it. I have no idea why. I mean, it's going to be perfectly fine when I, you know, upload it to YouTube. But right now, as me recording it, right now the video is just cutting out in between parts. It won't play the full video in slow, in like good motion. I don't know why it's doing that. It's in 720p. I didn't export it in 1080p. It only does that if I export it in 1080p. It's working out perfectly fine. I don't know. Actually, and now it's doing good. I, I don't fucking know what's going on. Uh, I think I die here because I'm a fucking loser. But anyway, um, so you guys wanted a quick video, or not a quick, a long video, and here is a long video. It's actually playing fine now. Anyway, so uh, I'm actually going to take your people's um, you know, request and change up the title of the video. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. I'll obviously have a name for it when it's uploaded, but right now I'm going to talk to you guys or, you know, girls, women, whatever. Uh, I'm going to talk to you people what happened to me over the past couple of days. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, my college uh, got delayed uh, uh, got delayed a week because of Hurricane Irene. And speaking of the hurricane, uh, my uh, heart goes out to anyone who got damaged. And I hope uh, all you people who are watching this or anyone that was affected by the hurricane uh, is in good shape. Uh, as for me, nothing happened. I knew in my area that nothing would happen. And, of course, nothing happened. It was just a lot of heavy rain. And uh, just a lot of wind. And that was it. No, nothing too big. I, I, I don't even think it even thunderstormed at all. It was just rain and wind. And uh, yeah. So nothing bad happened uh, at my place. But um, So yeah. Because of the hurricane. Uh, where my college is located. Showstopper. Fuck yeah. I haven't gotten that metal in a long ass time. So uh, where, um, where the hurricane hit uh, at my college, a lot of people so there still have no power. So my uh, college got delayed a week. And instead of me going back to school on August 31st, I uh, go back to school September 6th, which I'm very stoked about. I mean, obviously, it's not good that it happened because of the hurricane. But I'm very happy I'm going back to school in September because the last time I could, the last time I remember that I went back to school in September um, was in fifth grade, when I was in fifth grade, because a long time ago, back in elementary school or so, um, or junior high, or I guess middle school, whatever, um, between third and fifth grade, I don't know what that's called, it might be called a, 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 a elementary school, I, I, I can't even talk, fucking hell, but yeah, uh, back uh, during that time, uh, we always went back to school, like on September, I think 9th or so, and uh, when I got into like middle school and high school, we went back to school in August, which I thought was retarded, so going back to school September 9th, in college is pretty cool. I'm actually uh, very happy about that. And um, yeah, so going back to college, I don't know what to expect. I'll obviously making some videos about my experiences with college uh, and women. Speaking of which, I love girls. <laughs> oh, there's actually a girl at my work. Uh, her name's Megan. I'll mention that much. And uh, she's a very beautiful girl, very hot, very, very nice. Uh, and uh, I think this happened a while back. A few... I'm not, I mean, I'm, I, I'm very, 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 very friendly, very casual, very normal, very calm around women. I'm not nervous when I talk to women. I'm very calm. I mean, like, you know, girls are just like, you know, guys, except they don't have a dick. <laughs> Essentially, that's what it is. And boobs. Um, they're just, they're, they're, they're normal human beings. You know, why the fuck would I be nervous around women? They're the same thing as guys, except they have other parts, and we have other parts. You know what I mean. They're different. Uh, but like honestly, they're 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 the same. Fucking hell. And uh, I'm not afraid of women. Why the fuck would I be afraid of women? And I talk very easy to them. Like uh, like where I work, I'm a register guy, and I do the register. Yeah, not the greatest job, but it's a lot better than another job I experienced, which I'm gonna talk about later on in a different video. And every time I talk to women, I'm friendly. Like, they laugh. We're, we're having a good time. Yeah, I, I only know them for, like, what, two minutes before I see, before I, I never see them again. But I'm always friendly with them, casual. We, I, I have a good time. And, you know, I get to learn stuff about them. And they learn stuff about me. And it's a very quick, quick talking. But, you know, we're all good. And, uh, yeah, so at work, Megan, uh, she is a very energetic girl. Um, I'm trying to make this not sound creepy, and I think, yeah, I got killed by the rocket launcher there. Of all fucking guns to kill me, I got killed by the goddamn rocket launcher. So, yeah, she's very energetic, and I think during, uh, I, I think that time she had like an eight-hour shift, and I had like a four-hour shift, and at that time she was very energetic. And I'm, I'm going to say this right now, I don't like girls who are, who are like she was when she was energetic. She's very, I mean, 
she's very energetic. She's but she's very closed minded, and she's like, oh my god, like 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 like, and I don't like those type of girls because those type of girls, in my opinion, at least where I live, and I'll, I could be completely wrong, but at least where I live, those girls tend to be uh, tend to be very slutty, very drunky, and by drunky I mean you know like hungover and shit, like to curse a lot. They're white trash essentially, or, or just trashy. You know, that's the best word I can put it they're they're trashy and i don't like girls like that um or at least yeah i i don't like hanging around girls like that and i don't like to be dating any girls like that although uh, around towards the very end of her shift in mine she got very tired and at that point we connected now i like i said i don't want to make this sound like oh i connected with a girl who was tired makes me sound like a fucking pedophile stalker or something but she was very tired and she was very open and she talked a lot it it, I, I, I guess it, it, it was like she was drunk, but she wasn't, dr you know, intoxicated. But yeah, she was very tired, very open, and we connected. And we talked about it. I got stuck here. That sucked. Uh, we, we, we talked about a bunch of stuff, and, we, and like, we related easily. And I actually helped her uh, with her major. She had no idea what she wanted to do for college. She was going to go in for liberal arts, which I think is kind of stupid. Because it's like you're, you're pretty much repeating your high school, except now you have to pay for it. So why the fuck would you do that? But uh, she's now going into college for teaching, I guess, elementary kids. But yeah, uh, teaching. And... Uh, I mean, obviously, that may not be her complete major, but at least I got her on the right track. And I'm, I know, even if she does change it, she now has a starting point. I felt pretty ha happy about that. And every time I left work, I, I, I would always see her. She would never say bye to me. But that one day where I helped her out, and I was nice to her for a few hours, or you know, I was always nice to her. But I, like, we were communicating and you know, being normal people, having a normal conversation. When I left for work, she's like, "Oh, bye, James." And I'm like, "Oh, bye." She said bye to me. Fuck yeah. So. Obviously, this doesn't mean oh I'm I I'm I'm in the boyfriend girlfriend zone. No, that's not my intention. My intention is if I if 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 Megan wants to be you know good. Right now, all I'm looking for honestly is a good friend. I'm not looking for a fucking girlfriend right now. If she wants to go down that road, by all means, I'm on board. But if she's looking for a good friend, someone to hang out with, that I'm perfectly fine, okay with that. I'd rather have a good friend that's a girl than not have a f friend that's a girl at all. You know, um so. Uh, I'm really happy that I, w I was able to accomplish something, and that fucker gets owned. Give me that sword, bitch. <laughs> and uh, I felt really accomplished, and I'm like, oh, you know, I helped out a girl that really didn't know me that well, but we got it connected a little bit, and uh, if she wants to pursue this somewhat relationship further, then so be it. If she doesn't, I'm perfectly okay with that. So that was for our work, and I guess my last topic about this video is today, which is Wednesday, August 31st, or, or, or August 30th, I went... I was actually going to do a dual con with a fan. I really apologize because I had no idea that I was going to be this late. Or I didn't know that I had to do a lot of stuff today. And I did have to do a lot of stuff today, which is unfortunate. But it turned out for the best, in my opinion. I actually had to go down to my dad's house. And no, we are not divorced. Uh, we just own multiple houses. And no, we're not rich. Although a lot of people, a lot of my friends say I am rich. I might make a video about all the shit I have in my house. But, uh. Yeah, well, uh, we have like airplanes. We we have two helicopters. We own all this stuff. We have a lot of uh, old cars. Oh yeah, speaking of which, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but uh, I'll I'll actually me I'll, I'll mention this towards the end of the video. Hopefully, I have enough time. I'm actually running out. But anyway, uh, I went up to my dad's house, or uh, yeah, um, and uh, I had to fix my air conditioning in my car. Oh yeah, oh yeah. By the way, people have been asking me uh, what kind of car I drive, and I'm not an expert at cars. I honestly know jack shit about cars, but I drive a 1990 red Volvo. People might think, oh, that's not a pretty car, but I'll tell you what. Right now, people, that car drives really good. That car drives like a fucking god. Excuse my language. Uh, it's very good on gas. I mean, I think one time I that car lasted me for, like gas wise for a solid month. Now, I, I mean. That's pretty damn good, I'm not going to lie, and uh, I actually didn't go that far. I mean, I did go back and forth between work, which is like 5 to 10, or like 7 to 12 minutes away from my house, and I did that for about 5 days every week, or no, I would say like 3 to 4 days every week, and I mean, that might not be much, but that car lasted me a full month of no gas, and uh, that's pretty good. I mean, some days I didn't even drive, but anyway, so uh, we fixed the air conditioning, um, some people came down because my dad's friend from Motor Island, which is also uh, the same name of my dad, Jim. His name is Jim. And uh, it's funny. My dad's name is Jim. My dad's friend's name is Jim. My name is James. We are the three J's. And uh, my nickname is Skeeter. So they addressed me as Skeeter to kind of separate us from the J's. 
And he came over, and we had a lot of fun. And uh, some other people came over to buy a truck off him. It's actually, uh, it's called a Mac truck. Apparently, there's only one in the world, and we had it. It was very rusty, but they were going to try to sell it. The guy wanted uh, to start at like eleven thousand for the bid, and then my, and my friend Jim, my dad's friend, uh, said, "No, we're going to go for a fifteen thousand starting point." And I feel so bad that I got killed by this fucker. Um, but anyway, and uh, uh, so we talked a lot, and I even showed them my soapbox cars. Uh, I really want to show you people my soapbox cars. They are amazing. You have no idea what you are missing out. I'm going to make a video later on uh, where I show you my stuff. And I died with a son of a bitch with the rocket launcher. Um, but I'll go back and get it later. So uh, we had a lot of fun there. And then we went to a car show, and we experienced a lot of cars. And I know jack shit about cars, but me and my, friend, man, my, me and my dad's friend Jim, we connected easily. And like we talked about... Uh, you know, engines and stuff, and I actually understood him, and I'm like, I, I'm, I'm like, wow, I'm not lost. I understood what he said, and uh, we had a lot of fun. And uh, towards the end of the day, we went back to Rhode Island. So, um, I guess I'll go back to question of the video. I haven't done that in a long time. What did you do? I don't know. What did you do in the past week? I want to know because I'm haven't done those in a while. I got a double kill to end the game. I win the game. This is Rumble Pit. I forgot to mention that. Oh, by the way, the uh, truck that I'm going to drive later on is a 1960, I believe, Al Camino. So, anyway, have a fun.